Today listen to the voice of your God. Harden not your hearts as in the desert. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, September 13. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 51, Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 12. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Psalm 51. Alleluia, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight that you might be justified when you speak and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in my secret part you shall make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God, of my salvation. My tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, else I would give it, and you delight not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart, God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 3, beginning verse 1. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, and make his path straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. And then the people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him, and all the region along the Jordan. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw how many Pharisees and Sadducees were coming for baptism, he said to them, O oh, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. 
Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me, and I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For those who are strangers and for travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone, especially Dean. For the sick, especially Carol, that they may be protected and find courage in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, especially Sean and Christian, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Philip, Marilyn, and Wayne, that together with Saints Francis Sinclair and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. We remember the mercy of God associates, especially Michael and Alan. For the mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and for the First Baptist Church in Philadelphia, uh, Denver. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.